Hey friends, I'm going to ask you a question, tell you a story, and then use an analogy. Analogy, using the story. I know you want much more for yourself and for your loved ones, right? Well, who can make that happen? You know the answer. Only we can make that happen. Right? Look, to get what we want for ourselves and for our loved ones, we must get more from ourselves. It's up to us. The world's busy with their own lives, their own problems. Imagine now, for the sake of making a point, here comes the story, that you needed brain surgery, and I hope you don't, but imagine your life depended on it. So let me ask you, who would you go to perform this surgery on your brain? Would you go to a really intelligent person who happened to read a few good books on medicine in general and brain surgery in particular? Would you go to them for your brain surgery? Or would you go to an intelligent, driven, and well-meaning person who had studied medicine in general and brain surgery in particular for 10 or more years? And this person was continuing to practice medicine, perform brain surgery at the highest levels each day for the last 10, 20, or more years. The point I'm trying to make is that I know you're an intelligent, driven, and well-meaning person. And I know that you want much more for yourself and for your loved ones. You realize, you know, that only you can make that happen. Well, if we're to succeed in what we want from life, we must be like this brain surgeon committed each day of our lives to mastering our instrument of success. We must master the skills, the mindset or attitude, the beliefs, the habits, the behaviors, the actions of this brain surgeon. We are our instrument of success. That surgeon is his or her instrument of success. That surgeon must master their focus, mindset, motivation, dedication, in addition to the technical skills that go with medicine and surgery. My point is, if we are more than just dreamers wasting our lives away one day at a time, we must develop the motivation and mindset of this surgeon. Success takes focus, dedication, hard and smart work, and it takes time. The surgeon didn't read a good book or two, then become and remain a world-renowned surgeon. They dedicated each day for decades to mastering their craft. The good news is your craft is likely, though not necessarily, but almost certainly, won't take as much time or skill or dedication as that surgeon's. But time's marching on with you or without you. The next 5, 10, and 50 years is going to proceed just fine with or without you. Where do you want to be in 5 or 10 or 20 years? Are you willing and dedicated to do the work necessary to get you where you want to be? Look, I encourage you to abandon the naive myth that reading a few good books, listening to a few videos, or attending a few seminars will change your life. They won't. You must first change your motivation, your mindset, your habits, and your skills. And that takes daily awareness and practice. It's not a one-time thing, not even for the surgeon. So are you going to begin or continue that journey today? Because if you do, then you will arrive at your dreams and goals one day sooner than if you wait until tomorrow. Begin or continue now with passion, purpose, dedication, to learn, grow, and habitually practice to employ the good knowledge that you get in books and videos and seminars. Much like remaining healthy in our bodies requires thinking, believing, feeling, eating, and exercising well at high levels virtually every day of our lives to get the other results we want in life and work requires thinking, believing, feeling, and using the other tools such as positive mindset, motivation, personal growth, personal development, and success each moment, each hour, each day of our lives. It's ongoing. As they say, though, the pain of this work is far less than the pain of regret. The pain of waking up in 20 or 30 years realizing it's too late. You had your chance and you blew it. 
the myth that reading books, watching videos, or attending seminars to accumulate knowledge will lead to personal growth, to change, to success is a fallacy. Just as you wouldn't go to the surgeon who had only read, it a few, read a few good books or attended a few good seminars, but had never actually practiced and implemented surgery, it takes habitual self-awareness, learning, and application of what we learn to actually change ourselves, our thinking, our believing, our feeling, our habitual states, how we behave and act each moment, each hour, each day. Because only by changing ourselves might we change our lives and get what we so desire for ourselves and our loved ones. We must be like that surgeon, learn, grow, apply, practice, seek mastery each day of our lives for the rest of our lives. Knowledge is not power. The effective habitual use over time is power. So begin or continue to intensify your journey with me beginning now. If you'll go to my website and opt in on my home page to my free training, you'll immediately receive a link to a 30-minute video on the 18 virtues, traits, values, habits that you must aspire and work towards if you're truly committed to making the most of yourself and your life for you and for your loved ones. Then you'll begin to receive other free video training from me over the um, upcoming weeks. I hope you'll join me in your journey. Go now to ChristopherBabson.com and opt in. Submit your first name and email address and begin to receive your free training. Please like and share and comment on videos too. I appreciate it if you pay it forward. My friend, live, love, and succeed with passion, purpose, and positive personal power.